In long-length articles, a table of contents can help readers locate specific information quickly and save them time, which is why Google loves them. With this video, you learn how to easily create a table of contents on your WordPress post and pages using a plugin. Check out the steps to make a table of contents like this. For that, you need to go to your admin dashboard. For adding a plugin to the website, hover over the plugin and click on Add New Plugin. Search Top Table of Contents. This is the plugin that we were looking for. Click the Install button. Once the plugin has been installed, click the Active button. There is now an option on your dashboard named Top Table of Contents, where you can make changes to your table of contents. The first option is for auto insertion. This means you can automate the process of inserting table of contents on pages or posts. Take a look at what happens when you click on the auto insert option in the post. As you can see, the table of contents is automatically added to the post. The default template looks like this. You can change the look also. You can make this kind of table of contents. Keep an eye out for us to talk about how to change your table of contents appearance. When you select auto insert, you can set the position of the table of contents. The table of contents appears before the first heading by default. The position can be set after the first heading. After the first paragraph, or at the top. General is the next setting. The general setting has a lot to offer. Let's take a look. Content visibility is the first option in the general setting. It is turned on by default. If you wish, you can turn this off. What is the purpose of this option? The content of your table of contents will be hidden if you turn this option on. That means the table of contents will be in a folded mood. Now let's see how it looks without this option. You can see that the content has been hidden here. The content will appear if you click on the table of contents. Let's set the option on. It can be set according to your convenience. I'm setting 80 to show you how it changes. And here we can see the changes. The next one is padding. You can also change this if you want padding on any side of your table of contents. I'm setting 25 padding on every side just to show you. Here is the output. Let it be the default value. You can also change the margin value. Here also you can find the option for changing the colored borders. It also can be customized according to your preference. I'm just setting up a 2 pixel border to show you. You can set it as you want. Also, you can change the color of the border I'm setting the default one. Next, you can change the bordered radius. Also, have the option to change the box shadow opacity and color option. The next setting is generator configuration which allows you to choose which heading will be your top heading. If you set the top level heading to H3, then H1 and H2 will not be shown in your table of contents. You can also exclude some headings also. For example, if you don't want to show the H6 heading then you can exclude the H6 heading from this section. Basically, these were all the settings of the general section. Title settings are the next setting. Titles can be displayed by selecting the first option. By default, it is set to on. But if you don't want to see the title, you can turn it off. The title isn't showing here after I turn that off. Most people leave it on. But you can change the content if you wish.
Typography can also be changed. Set the font size or line height as you wish. If you wish, you can also change the title's background color. Although it's not suiting here but if you change the background color from general then it will look good. Let it be the default. The color of the title text can also be changed. You can change the color regarding your theme color. I'm just setting a color. Let's set the blue color. Here's how it looks. You can also set the hover color. The padding and margin option for the title is also available here. Also, the border radius option is here. The next important setting is for toggled functionality. The options show toggle option is on by default. But you can also off this if you don't want to show toggle on your table of contents. Here you can see it's not showing the toggle option. Then it comes to the heading section. The heading list style can be customized according to your preferences. There are three options, disk, numeric, and none. The choice is yours. Then the next option is word break. Select the option to truncate the heading if you want it to appear in one line. The heading will then show a dot at some point if it is much longer during time. The heading will remain in one line. You can also select the word break option if you wish to show the heading in full. Then you have offset from top option. If you see the table of contents are going under the menu section then you can just set a margin so that it will not go under the menu. Let me show you. If we set the menu much longer then you will notice that the heading will go under the menu. Here you can see. The solution is to set a value to offset from the top. I'm setting some value to the option. Now let's see what happens. See how it's not going under the menu. After that, there are all the necessary options such as typography, margin padding, color, etc. which make your heading looks good. You can customize the heading section also according to your preference. Pre-made themes are the last option. If you want to avoid customization hassle, you can select the theme. The only thing you have to do is select the theme you want, and then a pop-up will let you know whether or not to import it. Click OK. You will then be prompted to reload the page. As soon as you reload the page, all your settings will apply to your talk, and you will see the pre-made template. It comes with Gutenberg blocks also. Let's see how to add a table of contents with Gutenberg blocks. Go to the edit mode first and insert the table of content wherever you want by adding the blocks. 
Search table of contents. You will find the blocks. Insert it into your post. And boom, here you can see the output. It also comes with some exciting pro features. See a dedicated video of top table of contents pro from the link which is given below in the description.